YouTube, this is D the Makeup Artist, also known as D Renee, and also known as the Eyebrow Queen. Basically, this is my kit, and we're going to go over it. This is the second tier in my three tier kit. Here I have all my different liners and my waterproof mascara. I love to use waterproof so I don't have to worry about the model tearing and ruining the makeup. I have all different type liners for different complexions from the Caucasian woman all the way up to the darkest black woman. You see here I have some eyeshadow pencils. Um, I use those for various different things. I use them to make glitter stick. Uh, different things like that. This right here is a palette that I have and it has all matte colors in it where I can create um, the natural you know, clean look for you during uh, like corporate shoots, things like that. Just to give you a hint of color. Um, this right here, this is uh, a must-have in your kit. You want to get you that Derma Color Concealer Palette. They have it in two different colors. Um, I got it here in Atlanta at the Atlanta Costume, and basically, you know, you use it per complexion, and it helps you to. Uh, conceal any blemishes and I think it's really great you know I've been using it for years about 15 years or more um, in my kit um, there's more liners and then here's a great product this is a like a bronzer by MAC and it's really good you can use it on the body you can use it as an eyeshadow um, it's really good for glamour shoots uh, they really like the shine and glamour shoot, so that's what I use. Then right here, these right are really good. These are paints that I got at a local art store where I can use these fun colors on a makeover to do some dramatics or the body. Do some dramatic on the body. Then I like to use these little plastic caps. Basically, um, that helps to prevent the model from getting any kind of makeup on the clothing so that the fashion stylist won't be as worried about getting any makeup or whatever on the clothes this right here is called Moistureville and it's something that I was trying out um, it basically just makes the skin smooth and soft it's really not a use for that this right here is a uh, sand light by Iman I use this on my Caucasian clients I don't really use a lot of loose powders, but I do have that. This right here is a sealer to seal the makeup after I'm done. This is the hip colors. You, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. I have um, three colors. I have the purple, the blue, and the black. This is a cream blush by Benai. I have two of those, the red and the pink. <coughs> um, I had to do this gig for a circus do soleil look and I just went out and bought a whole lot of matte colors but this right here this is a uh, color wheel for the lips but those cool colors I mean I just got a lot of different colors so I can do some really hip um, Circus Do Soleil looks. I'm going to add a picture for you so you can see it. But I got all colors like white, blue, different color blues, pinks, reds, uh, a lot of different colors. Purple. It was a really fun job too. We had to do like a Pinocchio on that particular job where I had to actually do some prosthetic noses. Um, we also ended up doing a ball cap. The, you know, we had a snake during it so it was pretty cool but um these are a lot of the colors that I have from that gig I still have left over it's really good to have some mattes in your um kit also don't just go shimmer crazy make sure you have some matte colors so that you won't you know overdo it this right here is a real neutral type blush um something that you would just add to the face just to show a little color this is again another bronzer that I use on the body or the face to make it shine. Then we got some more liners. I have a lot of liners. 
Now, this is my third tier. In this tier, this is where I keep my airbrush machine. I use the Iwata airbrush machine. Um, and I love it. I've had two different ones, and this is the one I really like it. Um, it's heavy duty, but it does an awesome job. Um, this right here is some foundation, some liquid foundations that I have from Artistry. And they give out real light coverage. Like if I just wanted to do like an editorial type of gig and just wanted some light color. <clears throat> I mean light foundation. Not much foundation. I would use that liquid foundation. Um, and Tempsu, they have a really cool thing they call, um, it's like an air brow thing. That right there, that's my airbrush tube, and here's my airbrush, my Iwata. Love it, love it, love it. Most of my foundations are Tim 2. I have two different types. I have the one for the body, and I have the one that's for the face. So, I'm going to take that out so you can see it. I keep it wrapped up so it won't get any dust, and here's a photo of it. My cute Iwata. Then here's my first tier that has all my foundation. Um, again, I used to have the Iman, which is now the Flora Roberts Foundation. Um, but I still have a lot of Iman. This is the last of it that I have from, you know, the older brand. And I have a lot of different um, lip glosses. I have some lipsticks. My lipsticks are in the little um, black case that you see sticking up right here. I put just a sample of one in there. And then these are my Benai powders that I use for setting the makeup. Uh, like for, like you can use it for theater. Um, don't use it too much now for photo shoots. I used to, but not too much anymore. So these are my cool little colors.